Welcome back to this special edition of The Project. It all started with a prime time interview. The senior staffer was on top of me. It scored Lisa Wilkinson a Logie. Thank you so much for this incredible honour. But with disastrous consequences. Bruce, how do you feel about being in court? Reporting on her speech saw Mr Lehrman's trial delayed after the ACT's then top prosecutor, Shane Drumgold, gave the impression in court that she'd been warned. There were front pages on nearly every major newspaper the next day criticising Ms Wilkinson for failure to heed to your warning to not give the Logie speech. I've not read that. You didn't see that? No. Are you serious? But worse was ahead for Mr Drumgold. During the public inquiry he called for, he backed down from his most serious claim that there was political pressure exerted through the police not to pursue the case. My state of mind was that I was suspicious that there may be some political interference. It prompted a swift response. I categorically reject this suggestion and consider a, a complete affront to my reputation. Senator Reynolds sued the ACT government before settling the case earlier this year. The inquiry, led by former Queensland judge Walter Sofronoff, made scathing findings against Mr Drumgold. He took leave, resigned and then went to the ACT Supreme Court. It ruled Mr Sofronoff's findings had been infected by bias, citing 273 phone contacts he'd had with journalist at The Australian, Janet Albritson. Walter Sofronoff now faces the prospect of a corruption inquiry into how his findings were leaked before the ACT government had even seen them. Meanwhile, Linda Reynolds is pushing ahead with her own defamation case against Ms Higgins and her fiancé. More legal battles to come years on from the now notorious interview. Patrick Bell, ABC News, Canberra.